Once again, welcome back to this special holiday Christmas Eve edition of my Dance 420 Chronicles Friday Weed Reviews. So I have looked at three strains so far today, all of them coming from the Veritas Company, Veritas Company, pre-packaged AIDS, and our final strain of the day is not from them. It is also not prepackaged. It is also not even an eighth. It is just a gram. Unfortunately, or fortunately, I'm not quite sure yet. We're going to find out together. I only picked up a gram of this final strain, which we are going to review together, called Star Killer OG, also known as just Star Killer. Uh, this is, as I mentioned, uh, coming from the recreational side and was not in the pre-package. This was in their mason jar, so I got to look at it, kind of get a little bit of a whiff of the uh, strain before I picked it out. And when I saw it, smelt it, oh, I just knew I had to give this a try. So, Star Killer OG, what can I tell you? According to my bottle, this is an indica hybrid, which should be about 70% indica, 30% sativa. Uh, our average THC count is right about 26%. And well, my bottle is saying uh, just a little bit under that, 25.3%. But this is the highest strain, according to these numbers, uh, that I've reviewed today. So uh, what else can I tell you? What is it a cross of? Well, it is a cross between a rare Dankness number two and a Skywalker OG. Wow, rare Dankness number two. I definitely would like to get my hands on that, though it sounds like it is rare and hard to find. Uh, the Skywalker OG, I don't think I've had that strain. I might have. Sounds kind of familiar, but uh, honestly, I've smoked so many strains, I don't remember. I don't believe I have a review on it. I'm going to have to check my own channel, my own website, just to verify that information. Of course, you can do that as well. Uh, just search my channel, search through my website uh, for any strain that you want to see if I've done a review on, and it will pop up. Let's get back to this uh, Star Killer OG strain that we are reviewing right here and right now. Tell you what, off that very first toke, look at you can see it in my eyes. I am definitely feeling nice and stoned. I'm feeling in the mood to talk about this final strain of the day. Take a look at this. Now, the last three strains we looked at were super dry. Well, actually, ranged from super dry to semi dry. This, tell you what, there is nothing dry about it. It is nice. It is nice and moist. Look at those crystals. Look at those orange hairs on that thing. Tons of crystals, <coughs> as you can see. Uh, nice light and dark leaves on that thing. I mentioned that uh, this is uh, not dry. It is actually, take a look at that, pretty damn sticky. Okay, maybe not super sticky, but... A lot stickier than that other stuff. The only thing sticking to my fingers from that very first strain I reviewed was dust crumbs. Uh, this, yeah, not, not too bad. Much, much better. Uh, Smell-wise, well, you just saw me bust it open. Did you get a whiff of it? Whoo! Tell you what, this thing's stinky, stinky. Smell like somebody let a skunk inside of the house. Really dank, really sweet smelling. Oh, yeah, it a uh, little hint of maybe some pine, pine, pineish kind of smell. It smells really good, it smells really strong. With that said, I can't wait to taste it. Of course, I already did. You saw me take a toke right out of the right at the beginning of this video, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to take at least one more, probably two, because I still have the bong loaded off to the side. But let's start with, of course, my pipe, which is loaded up. And we'll talk a little more about the taste. Does it smell as danky, as skunky as it smells? Let's find out. Whew, I am definitely feeling pretty baked right now, though. That's a, nice, that's a good thing. I believe this is a high THC count just based on just how I feel. Whew, you can see it in my eyes. Taste-wise, definitely got a strong, skunky, sweet um, again, I mentioned some kind of a pininess to it. 
<clears throat> little hints, little hints of earthiness, little little in undertones. I guess is the best way to word that. Boy, I am stoned. My words, I am all tongue tied. But that doesn't mean I am gonna stop there. Bong loaded up, as you can see right there. Let's take a toke. Let's do it. Hey, you got a bong? You got your pipe? Let's do this toke together. Whatever you're smoking, let's do this one together. Happy, happy uh, Christmas, New Year's, all that to all of you. This is the one we're going to share together. <sighs> oh, man. Very skunky. It's like somebody just put a skunk in my mouth and just exploded. Which, is that a good thing? Uh, maybe not. But in this case, I'm going to say, yeah, it is really, really good tasting. Really sweet. Um, again, got little undertones of earthiness, a little bit of pininess, but all in all, I like this strain. I think this is definitely the top pick of the day. Uh, the Verito strains were good. I talked earlier about which was my top pick of those three strains in my last video, but that was before I tried this Star Killer, Star Killer OG right there. This one is going to take the strain of the day, no doubt. Um, it's getting my top pick, getting a thumbs up from me. Speaking of thumbs up, you know, whenever I mention thumbs up, I'm always asking to, for you all out there to please take a moment. Hit that like button right there. Leave some comments down below. Um, let me know. Do you like the videos? Do you want to see more? Uh, what strains do you want me to try to keep an eye out for? Uh, Veritos, if you've tried them, Veritas, however you want to say it, uh, or however it's supposed to be said, share it. Let me know what you all think, and uh, before I let you go, you know I'm going to have to mention it, my dance420chronicles.com slash shop. Of course, if you didn't get what you were hoping for this holiday season, treat yourself to one of my 420 apparel, tank tops, hoodies, Baseball caps, aprons, socks, you name it. Got lots more stuff coming in the new year as well, so be sure to check that out. And in the meantime, I hope that everybody has a fun, a safe holiday, as well as New Year's. And until my next video, which will probably, hopefully come New Year's Eve. I'm not sure whether I will do one or not. You might have to wait till the next, till next year, everybody. But uh, either way, until my next video... Stay high and safe out there, my stoner family.